This is TechZG News with the world's fastest wired charging coming in an Oppo device in October. Xiaomi's ultra flagship may get a name change. iPhone benchmark results are a little bit confusing. And more news from the Vivo Next real device leaks on that one before the launch. Let's start with Xiaomi Alpha. Now some trademark names came out on Chinese social media a little while ago detailing Xiaomi has filed some trademark names for Xiaomi Mix Alpha. The Xiaomi Mi Mix 4, which is Xiaomi's ultra flagship phone, was expected to come very shortly with a brand new 108 megapixel camera on the back and pretty much everything top end that Xiaomi can throw at a phone goes in that product. What we do know is that Xiaomi's ultra flagship phone is definitely getting that 100 megapixel sensor. It will also have 5G, rumors of a bezel-less display with 90 hertz, but leak specs on that one are few and far between, so let's wait a while to see if we can get some more information on that one. A picture from Europe has surfaced detailing the Xiaomi Mi 9 Lite. If you look at the specs of this device, this is the Xiaomi CC9, which I reviewed on the channel that's already been released in China. A Snapdragon 712 with a triple camera on the back and an OLED display with an underscreen fingerprint sensor. All in all, that is a very capable device and in China anyway, the price was very good too. So if everything relates over to it being called the Mi 9 Lite outside of China, you might wanna take a look at that one. Moving on to the iPhone and some Geekbench results have surfaced online here in China, detailing the iPhone 11 lineups Geekbench scores. There's nothing too out of the ordinary for these apart from apparently each and every model having only four gigabytes of RAM. But a lot of people say those two models should be having six gigabytes of RAM. So it's a little bit confusing and we don't know how much we can trust those Antutu scores. The actual screenshots of the scores can very easily be changed. So let's look at that one with some skepticism. But if we do assume that the iPhone 11 Pro Max only does have four gigabytes of RAM. You would just never ever find a flagship Android phone with anywhere near that amount of RAM. It's at least eight and going on from there. But of course the operating systems are completely different. Something else you've seen from the iPhone is these night mode shots that at last bring a real night mode to the iPhone. Unfortunately, night mode is just kept for the new iPhone 11 models. For now, maybe that will come in an update to older iPhones down the road. But yes, I know, Android phones have had it for a very long time. So moving back to Android, we got some news today that one UI on Samsung devices going forward might just get emoji suggestions in the stock keyboard app, which is something that iPhones have had for a very long time. Third party apps and keyboards also have it. So Samsung is a little bit late to the game here, but at least they are giving it to us going forward. And the Samsung Developers Conference, which is next month at the end of October, we'll learn a lot more about One UI. Moving on to the Vivo Next, which should be officially released here in China next week. We've got some real device pictures. What we can see is that completely bezel-less display, and what looks to be a pop-up dual camera at the front. So it looks like the V17 Pro and the Vivo Next will have that same camera setup. So yes, the screen on that is officially called a waterfall display. If you do look very closely at the design in general, I think the Note 10 Plus from Samsung has much smaller bezels all around, certainly on the top and bottom and on the sides too. So I'm not really sure how this waterfall display is actually working to enhance the look or the usage of the phone, but I'll hold my reservations and review till I can see one and just see how the phone reacts and looks in real life. And lastly, let's get on to that 65 watt. Wow, 65 watt fast charging. The Oppo Reno Ace. There are so many Reno phones now. You've got the Reno 10 times zoom edition, the Reno original, the Reno 2 series. This brand is getting slightly confusing to me, but we have a new one, the Reno Ace, which is coming this year in October. It will feature 65 watt. That is by far and away the quickest wire charging in the whole world. They will call it Super VOOC fast charging. And the biggest question for me is the longevity of the battery life being charged that quickly over and over again. Can Oppo keep the battery life in the phone? But anyway, the Reno Ace, Oppo have also said that that phone will have 90 hertz refresh rate display as well. So we know for certain at least two of the specs on that. The other specs are uncertain at this point. I'll keep you guys updated. Anyway, that's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.